I suggest a little mouth to mouth? It's semifinal time, and our two experienced teams are about to go head to head to compete for a place in the final and a shot at this the Junkyard Wars trophy. But to get there, they're gonna have to navigate today's very difficult challenge. We want the teams to build two person rescue machines to pick up those distressed swimmers. They'll get three attempts each, and the team that saves the swimmer in the single fastest time will win. But a simple boat won't do the job because the machines will have to start up here at the lifeguard tower and drive down the beach to get to the water. So they'll have to build amphibious craft. In green, life's a beach for the Jet Doctors, three amazing aircraft mechanics from Long Beach, California. My name is Kirk Wester. Hi, I'm Darren Tomanai. Everybody calls me Tama. Hi, I'm Jeff Higginbotham. We work on the airplanes. We repair everything from the avionics, autopilot system, to changing tires and brakes. The Jet Doctors are going to win because we have been highly trained and we have all the skills necessary to take on any challenge. Hands down. The Jet Doctors powered through the first round in a tractor puller that outran the competition. Heading up the Jet Doctors rescue team, it's amphibious car expert Dave Deerer. Dave runs a company that restores these 1960s amphicars to their former glory. In ocean blue are the Auto Amigos, three macho mechanics from Los Angeles. I'm Guillermo Gomez. I go by the name of Junior. My teammates are Ralph and Sergio. And I'm the captain of Auto Amigo. We get together on the weekends, uh, fix cars. The Auto Amigo's gonna kick ass. <laughs> In the first round, they flamed the opposition on their junk jet trike. <laughs> and racing to the Auto Amigo's aid is Billy Six. He's also an avid restorer of amphibious autos and has made a huge splash in the amphicar world. Billy's a deadly rival of green expert Dave and wants nothing more than to leave him trailing in his wake. Okay, let's go. Auto Amigos! Yeah! yeah. Jet Doctors! Yeah. Yes. Teams, welcome back to the junkyard and the semi-final. Yeah. I do not want you to build a vehicle that drives over the sand. I do not want you to build me a machine that can float over the water. In fact, today, we want a machine that can do both of those things. And your amphibious vehicle will have a purpose. You will need to drive down a beach and out onto the water to rescue a swimmer before the sharks get him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have 10 hours from the time that the mighty car crusher crushes that car. Are you ready? Yes! yes! They're ready. Are you ready? I am ready. Sir. Okay. <laughs> How are we gonna make this thing float and drive at the same time? Okay, this is gonna be great. Any suggestions, Billy? We are going to use a Volkswagen Beetle. All right. Okay, we're gonna use the same engine that's in the Beetle. We're gonna strip all the extra sheet metal out of it, cut the roof off of it. We're gonna need another differential, props, fan blade. The Amigos plan to convert a Volkswagen Beetle into an amphibious rescue racer. They'll remove the roof and mount an additional car axle, complete with differential and drive shaft, and fit a propeller on the end. When the drive wheels of the Beetle are in contact with the wheels of the new axle, the drive shaft will turn and the propeller will pull them through the water. However, if they can't make the engine watertight, the whole thing will grind to a halt. <coughs> I'm out there, huh? Yeah, we're going to be running back and forth getting some stuff here. Woo. An amphibious vehicle, that's pretty exciting, pretty challenging. Uh, I hope you have a good plan for us. Just thinking, uh, you know, something light, easy, but floating good with power and torque. I thought of uh, some type of uh, motorcycle, four-wheeler, something that we can steer and stand, too. So anyways, want to use a, uh, say, a 35 to 55-gallon drum. We're going to put some sides on it with the paddles, and we're going to run this off of the uh, rear wheels. The Jet Doctors want to turn an all-terrain vehicle, or ATV, into a paddle boat. 
They plan to cut and bend the walls of a big oil drum to make their large rear paddle and power it with a chain drive from their ATV's back axle. However, if the paddle is too high or too low in the water, it will be completely ineffective. So they'll need to add extra oil drums so they can adjust the height of the paddle. Otherwise, they'll need rescuing themselves. All right, so I guess the major thing, we want to see that uh, drum, that 55-gallon drum. Right. Okay, some kind of sand tire that we can use. Pairs. We want pairs. Don't right. mismatch goofy things. Right. I don't know how, how heavy our, our person is that we're rescuing, and if they put us in the water goofy, we got to be able to adjust that drum so we can have motivation to beat them! All right, you guys ready? All right, you ready? Yeah. Come on! I'm fired up. Are you fired up? Oh, I'm always fired up. Speaking about being fired up, the sun is fired up. It's about <laughs> 97 degrees, and it's early in the morning. Woo! And the teams are also fired up. At stake is a place in the finals. Find those parts fast, folks. Tama, it's the semis. What are you looking for first and foremost this morning? We're looking for a frame uh, and some barrels, some big stuff so that they could get started. The Amigos don't seem to know where to start. Beautiful, Tama. Very good. I'd like to see four more. If you have your eye on four barrels or some, I need some, yes. I know barrels, and this is a good barrel. You know, you know. Yeah. Oh. The Jet Doctor's workshop is filling with floats, but the motor is still a figment of their imagination. All right. That'll work. I think it's going to work. Yeah. Out in the yard, Amigo scavenger Ralph is circling round a beetle. We found a bug over here that looks like we're going to be able to use this one here. OK. Trouble is, it's in need of rescue itself. Hey, Shorty. How you guys doing over there? Shorty! Yay! What are you doing with the VW? Oh, it's got a lot of nice parts we're going to be able to use out of this thing here. Lots of goodies. Are you a beach-going man yourself? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Both teams are tackling the trash, looking for their perfect parts. But who will be kicking sand into the other team's face? Keep watching and find out. This DLC program is sponsored in part by Honda, the company that defines performance in motorcycles, ATVs, personal watercraft, and scooters. The climb to the top is never easy. To make it, you need the biggest ATV Honda has ever built. 650 cc's, fully independent rear suspension, Sport tuned automatic. The Rincon from Honda. To get here, you've got to be the best on earth. Tomorrow's special is going to be vegetarian lasagna. But since spaghetti with marinara sauce was served today, the staff did not feel it was appropriate to have two Italian dishes in a row. Therefore, the new special is shepherd's pie. And lentil soup. Introducing Intel Centrino Mobile Technology. The new wireless laptop technology designed to help you untangle, unburden, and unwire your life. Participating Ford, Lincoln, or Mercury dealer's price in the name brand tires we sell. Four select tires for only $99 or less and other great deals. Plus, enter to win trips to the Caribbean or to the world premiere of the hot new movie Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Nobody can do, I don't serve it like we do. In 1989, Eric and Lyle Menendez committed a crime that shocked the nation. Now, TLC recreates every angle of the investigation that nearly destroyed its lead detective. Super Sleuths, the Menendez Brothers, tonight at 8, only on TLC. It's a game of subtlety and grace. Okay, Tiger. Yeah, right. 
No more Mr. Nice Guy. It's time to hit the links, junkyard style, off-road, and fully automatic. More power! Yeah! The Yard's top two teams take a swing at the coveted trophy, but our champions keep getting stuck in the rough. Hold on, it's in park. See who sinks the winning putt and who putters out. Junkyard Wars, Wednesday at 9, only on TLC. Own a timeshare. Real people, real results in six weeks. In just six weeks, I lost four inches off my waist. In just six weeks, I lost 27 pounds. Well, in six weeks, I lost a total of 30 and a half pounds. Call now to get a free video that tells you all about the home gym that guarantees real results for real people just like you. Bowflex. With our busy lives, we don't have time to spend two hours in the gym. Four inches off my waist in six weeks' time with so little effort. All it takes is one simple workout, 20 minutes, three times a week. I've never dropped 30 and a half pounds before in six weeks. I have three kids and I lost five and a quarter inches from my waistline. I'm enjoying my new body. I, I'm enjoying the new muscle. Real people, real results, real Bowflex. Call 1-800-931-7400 to get your free video and brochure and check out the entire Bowflex lineup. That's 1-800-931-7400. Welcome back to Junkyard Wars, where our two teams are racing to build beach rescue racers in just 10 hours. The blue auto amigos have a beat-up beetle, but they need a propeller and another axle to make this bug swim. The jet doctors only have barrels. Without an engine and a chassis, they'll be wading through the waves. Really concentrate now on the truck frame or a truck of some kind. We found a wagon for you. It has all four wheels and a hitch. Beautiful, beautiful. Get that bad boy in here. <laughs> All right! Woo! All right. Come on, man. Woo. The Amigos can't wait to give their bug a detailed inspection. All right, we got a winner! Woo! Hey, still has the CD player in it. <laughs> All right, man, we is, this is Guys, it. take your time. Hey, you got all day. Hey, it's hot, take it easy. Take it okay. easy. Okay. <laughs> Jet Doctors expert Dave and Captain Kirk are getting anxious, but out in the yard, their scavengers are making headway. Jeff from Kirk, Jeff. Yes, Kirk. What type of vehicle did you find? Yeah, it's a four-wheeler. It's barely got four wheels, so right. will it work? <laughs> no brakes, no brakes. It's smaller than I had envisioned. You know, the tires themselves will actually supply some uh, yeah. floating support. The handlebars would be better for leverage and steering. Maybe we should throw a rudder in the front. The Amigos are all action. Better yet. This thing's gonna swim. They have to cut their beetle down to size before they can start on the propeller drive. The auto aces are throwing parts away. The jet doctors are throwing parts in the bay. Tama! They're scavenging up a storm. Barrels, chains, wheels, and a special added bonus. Oh! There we go. We got okay. it all done. We're done. All we need is a motor. There it is. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, <laughs> you guys just started, and you've got a ton of stuff in the build area already. Monsieur Expert, explain. I want to float. I want to float easy. I want to float quick. Yeah. I want to get done today and within like four hours. Okay. Three and a half, he's saying. Three and a half. I can read it as that. <laughs> so we're using the barrels. We're going to float this little four wheeler frame. We're going to get it started. And our propulsion is going to be a paddle wheel. Hey, I like that. The jet doctors will turn the oil drum into a paddle wheel by cutting and bending back the walls of the barrel. They'll mount it at the rear, and a chain drive connected to the ATV's back axle will get the paddle moving. But if their chain is too slack or the engine doesn't have enough power, there'll be no turning back or going forward. You want to keep it as light as possible? Totally, totally. Yeah. Especially since we got the little dinky motor, you know? Uh, he doesn't mean that. Uh, he doesn't so mean that. So we're hoping it's going to be a real powerhouse. You, know? you guys are the jet doctors. You can amp that thing up. Sure. Yeah. Put a little afterburner on the engine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Junior? Good, good. Just making a convertible here. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Chopping it up. Yeah. What's the plan for your vehicle? Well, first, first we got to get that motor running. OK. And then uh, we're going to get an axle. So a drive shaft here, differential on the back. 
The Auto Amigos will use a car axle assembly connected to the Beetle's drive wheels to power their propeller. They'll need to position the axle exactly so that both sets of wheels touch. When the Beetle's drive wheels spin the axle, the differential gear will cause the drive shaft to rotate, moving the propeller. But any mistake in their calculations may mean the wheels lose contact and leave the Amigos dead in the water. Well, I'm not a good swimmer. No. <laughs> well, hopefully you won't have to swim, because if yeah. you swim, something went terribly, terribly wrong. <laughs> the jet doctors have a pile of parts, but where to begin? Yeah, how do we got to figure out, yeah. Um... The arrangement of uh, hooking it up to the actual vehicle to allow adjustability, and, uh, you know, the drivetrain, too, has to move with it. I'm going to have to weld these two to ends together. Captain Kirk makes a start on the pontoons that will balance their craft. The Amigos have good news for their captain. Hey, guys, I found a differential over here. Drive shaft on it? Yes, uh, drive shaft's on it. OK, bring it in. Their second axle comes complete with wheels, right. differential, and drive shaft. The bad news, it's still attached to an old Nissan truck. OK, this one's ready. It could be a long job. New convertible Volkswagen. Oh, yeah. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. While they wait, Captain Junior takes expert Billy for a ride. All right, man, fire it up. Hey, to left. All too soon, their fantasy is rudely interrupted. Are we in the water yet? Yeah, I hope not. Hello? Junior. We're coming in with the rear end. We're coming in with the rear end, guys. All right, cool. All right. Come on. OK, hit the brakes. Way to yeah. go, man. This okay. is it. All right? We got the problem with this arm, but let's forget that and just flip this around. But the axle brings with it a whole host of problems. Can you come my way? All right. Take, take a look at this, Ralph. Tell me what you think. Shorty, tell me what you think. If this thing doesn't hit those tires, all right, we're screwed. We're going to have to come up with something else. Looks to me like we're a little high. Yep. Drop it down a couple so, inches. And drop it down as much as we can so we can get a better angle. Yep. The jet doctors aren't smiling either. They're sizing up their sprocket. That looks huge. What's our chain look like compared to that? It's monster? heavy. Yeah, it's too heavy anyway. Yeah. They're planning to use a chain to drive their paddle, but without the correct sprocket, that wheel's not going to be turning anything. That's what I was thinking. We have to bolt it. You know but, what? Uh, then we still have a Rather problem. than going with this, how about if we can get a rim? And you weld. You know what? I mean, you're onto something. Uh, okay. Here. Well, here's another idea <laughs> that we've discussed uh, at other times. Uh, is actually having coming out of the rims. That's what I was just going to yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. Will will paddle wheel to the outside of the back tires. Yeah, yeah. The jet doctors are filing a new flight plan. Rather than having Ooh. one large paddle wheel at the back driven by a chain, they'll fabricate two smaller ones out of steel rods and sheet metal and mount them directly on the ATV's rear wheels. The design of these paddles is critical. Too large and they'll dig into the sand when they're on land too small and they won't shift enough water. You know what? That'll solve a whole bunch of problems with driving we, with we this drum. Do, uh, it's a change of gear for the jet doctors. Now it's full steam ahead for their amphibious craft. Building a vehicle to get across land and water has always been a challenge. It was the military that first developed successful amphibious vehicles. In the 1960s, amphibious cars became available for everyone. Perfect for an afternoon drive. But a vehicle specifically designed to rescue distressed swimmers is another thing altogether. California lifeguard John Beecher has been rescuing people from the water for the last 28 years. He's also a trained engineer and familiar with amphibious craft. So who better to be our judge? Good morning, good morning. Good to have you aboard the throne. Why, thank you. All right, so we're building the rescue racing machines. Two pretty different designs. Let's start with the Jet Doctors. Anything that concerns you? Their engine's pretty exposed. E even though that, uh, you know, it's a quad bike, they're made to go through rivers and things like that, um, it's not made to be like submerged all the time. And that might be a mighty, mighty wet engine. Let's zip over to the Auto Amigos. VW engines are notorious for not liking being wet. Yeah. <laughs> so the Auto Amigos going to have to somehow come up with some sort of a bow structure up on front and then seal up the bottom really well. Because mm -hmm. uh, there are a few holes in the bottom of the thing, and they're not making a submarine. Where do you put your money at this point? Ooh. 
think I'm going to lean a little bit towards the Jet Doctors. Why is that? Um, it's lighter, it looks to be a little more efficient, and they're going to have an awful lot more control over their buoyancy. Okay. The Auto Amigos, they've got a weight problem. They're going to have to seal that thing up. The Amigos need stacks of sheet metal to seal their beetle. Okay, guys, they found some sheet metal here, and uh, I believe another tire for the uh, differential. All right, cool. Shorty, bring it in. That's not nearly enough, but at least they found a propeller and extra wheels. Look at here, guys. Think this will work? Woo. We're gonna be flying down that beach. It's a mud tire. Looking good. Attention, teams, attention. Life is definitely not a beach, especially when you've only got six what? hours remaining. No, no, need to this is eight, 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 eight hours, eight. We gotta work our ass off now. Where's our... The Jet Doctor's change of plan means they'll need a pair of bigger wheels to support their paddles. They've got one, but Jeff must find its mate. And the junkyard is like a desert. Well, this is definitely a, a fitness program today. It may be a mirage, but finally, something catches Jeff's eye. Guess what I found? You know what? I've always liked you. Come on in with that tire. Let's see it. Yeah! If you weren't already married, I might marry you. And the Amigos are also discovering diamonds in the rough. Some sheet metal here, and we got as much as you need. That's a find, man. I love it. What's all the metal for? This is for underneath. We're going to need a lot of sheet metal under there. We need to make this watertight. And that's one of the major factors there. Isn't all this metal going to make this really, really heavy? Keep in mind that if you took a cast iron bathtub, an old-timey bathtub, closed off the drain, right and tried to sink it. It wouldn't sink no. until it's completely filled up. Yeah. So if we can keep enough water out of that thing, even if it is heavy, right. it's still going to go. Let's make them cry. You ready? Yes, sir. I got the gas. It's no go for the jet doctors. They need to start their engine. Got the button. OK, there's no point. Oh. Hey, what's that green team doing? It's awful quiet over there. Hey, Kirk, yeah. got to get this thing started, man. Let's go. Yeah, demoralize these guys. He's got the button. We have a choke here. I right, choke. Hey, uh, do you guys know what you're doing over there? Oh, yeah. C. Sure. C. 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 How's the engine? Engine's just purring quiet. It's awfully quiet. It's silent right now. Stealth mode. Yeah. It doesn't work, is what you're trying to tell me. Um, I do not hear the Auto Amigos engine either. <laughs> There's definitely no sound coming out of the Amigo's motor, and they've got another problem. To keep their engine dry, they must seal a whole lot of holes. And the jet doctors are still having engine trauma. It doesn't sound like it's hitting. Somebody called David Hasselhoff, because these two teams are in need of a rescue. One of them is going to catch the tide, while the other is going to be left high and dry. Who's it going to be? I say stick around and find out. This TLC program is sponsored in part by Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. OK, sweetie, bye-bye. Can you check on my flight, please? Sure. Call team. Hey, Vanessa, have you finished my brother's birthday card yet? Now. now at Radio Shack, get great deals on unique gifts for mom. Like this easy-to-use Palm Zire PDA, just $99.99. Or a Honeywell Environizer electronic air purifier as low as $99.99. How do you always have the answers to everybody's questions? Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Christopher, come on, let's go, sweetie. In neighborhoods across the country, State Farm is helping to make life safer for children. We're the sole sponsor of the nation's largest child passenger safety study, which found that even though they've outgrown a car seat, kids 40 to 80 pounds still need a car booster seat. We live where you live. Being there to help keep kids safe. That's what we're all about. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. For three months, I'm the invisible man. I'm an accountant. From January to April, you can't see me, can't talk to me. I don't have time to talk on my cell phone. I don't even have time to talk to myself. You need Singular's rollover. Unused anytime minutes roll over from month to month. Plus get 50% more anytime minutes and nationwide long distance. And get a free phone with a $20 donation to Special Olympics.
I call it the Kevin McCorkle Taxes Should Be This Fair Plan. Come into Singular now to find the plan that fits you best. I win. Are you troubled by creditors? You're pre-approved. I guarantee it. Go from fat to flat. Ah! You've won a dream vacation. Want to see my webcam? Dad, Want a better way to block junk email? Everybody loves baklava. Crispier, flakier crust. Switch to new MSN8. Ah! Sign up now and get tougher junk email protection, plus two months free. It's better with the butterfly. Call 866-TRY-MSN8 today. Tonight on the Discovery Channel, who killed Julius Caesar? Was it his friends, his illegitimate son, or perhaps himself? Now, a top detective uses the latest forensic technology and reveals a surprising new answer to a 2,000-year-old crime. Shakespeare told a tale. We'll tell the truth. Who killed Julius Caesar? Tonight at 8, only on the Discovery Channel. On the next While You Are Out, Kelsey sends her parents to Las Vegas so she can bring Hawaii into their bedroom. It's insane. I'm not feeling the paradise part so much. <laughs> there. Please don't take my elephant. Lauren surprises her partner with a backyard makeover that's straight out of Africa. Jolly good job. <laughs> Go round the world in two days with back-to-back -back episodes of While You Were Out. Friday at 8, only on TLC. On the next Trading Spaces, Bird creates a leather love nest and Genevieve goes muy gaucho. Sweet. Then in an all-new episode at 9, Hildy's studio room is a Paris triumph. Trading Spaces, Saturday starting at 8 on TLC. Welcome back to Junkyard Wars, where the heat is really on as two teams of unlikely looking lifeguards attempt to make amphibious rescue vehicles from junk. Both teams have to build a vehicle that can fit two crew members and a dummy swimmer. The blue Auto Amigos are converting a land-loving beetle. They're adding lots of sheet metal to get it watertight, but it's going to be a long job. The green jet doctors are attaching paddles to their ATV's back wheels. They've decided that starting their engine will have to wait. <laughs> Come on up here, the fiberglass is heating up. Oh. Amigo expert Billy has a watertight solution. This is all you need to make a Volkswagen float. Gallons and gallons of it. You gotta close all this stuff up, because you're never gonna get a bilge pump big enough to pump all this out if you got all these little holes in here. Right. Have you taken an assessment of how many holes you have to fill? We have 20,743. <laughs> uh, I think the fumes are getting to you, so make sure you step away from this every now and then and get okay. some fresh air, okay? Yeah. <laughs> And the fumes seem to have affected the jet doctor's judgment. They've just realized that each line of barrels will get in the way of the paddles. How about if we cut these down, use only one barrel on each side, and put a smaller one up front? And if we have to cut the front one, we can. We can put the front one on with strapping. Yeah, put it on with strapping, cut it loose if we don't need it. There's no choice. Expert Dave has to undo all of Captain Kirk's welds. Jet Dr. Tama is planning to smooth their ATV's entry into the water. Using the leftover barrels as templates, he's building cones that should break the waves. Hey, 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 hang like yeah, hang it up like that, huh? You used to do wardrobe for Madonna? Huh? You used to do wardrobe for Madonna? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen up, teams. The tide is slowly rolling in. This is your four-hour time check. Four oh, wow. hours waiting. The heat is on. Tama from Kirk, Tama. Oh, this looks good. I don't know where he's at. Both teams are feeling the effects. It's really hot out there. It's killing us. Whew, it's hot. By now? You gotta be used to this by now. It is so 
hot. What's, what's it going to do to them out there? Right, it's just going to take every bit of energy they have right out of them. What about the, the jet doctors? Jet doctors, I'm still trying to figure out where in the world they're going to put their victim. They have a place for one person and another person. Now what do they do with their victim? With the victim, OK. Auto Amigos still have to seal up the bottom. They have to get their differential mounted. And they have to figure out some way of getting that uh, top differential down into a prop in the water. What about engine? Uh, have we got a start on that one yet? We haven't heard any, any engine out of either of them. You want me to crank it? Yeah, crank it up. All right. This is a moment, man. The Amigos right. need to start their engine before they can finalize the position of their extra axle. And there's no sign of life. Yeah, we need some gas. Talk to me. The competition aren't making things easy for them. Hey, guys, I don't know if you've taken a peek in here lately, but I'm looking at, I think, a big mistake. Now you got me curious. I have to see. <laughs> you got to take a look. Ours is what? Let's do, you can almost say done. They have a, a rear end welded to the top of this Volkswagen. <laughs> wow, that's something special. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Well, it's artwork. I like that sound. OK. Get Go here. for it. Woo! Yeah! Woo the Amigos triumph means that the doctors drop everything so they can concentrate on ignition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, a little choke. Let's, let's do it hey, one more hey, time. Hey, a little choke, a little yep, choke. Yep, yep. Here we go. Burn a hole. Check the radiator. Yeah! Yeah! Now they can start fitting their paddles. Let's hope those barrels don't obstruct them. Are you going to have enough clearance room here if you put paddles on? Oh, certainly. That's the size right there? We're working on it right now. Going to have a tube go into the wheel. OK. And then uh, we're going to weld these on and have an end plate on the outside. OK, about, OK, but show me show me the clearance. Uh, what kind of clearance you've got on that? Oh, the ruler does work. Excellent. Good the stuff. Ruler, thumb. <laughs> Just, yes. All right, get back at it. Thank you. We'll talk hey, to you. Yeah. Right. OK, what's this? Thanks. Were these right? The Amigos are ready to mount the wheels on their extra axle, but both sets of wheels have to touch. Mounting the axle assembly requires great precision. It's crucial there's enough contact between the Beetle's drive wheels and the extra axle wheels. If there's any slack, the tires will slip, the axle won't turn, and the propeller won't rotate, leaving them stuck stationary in the water. The wheels aren't touching. It's hammer time. Is it, is it, is it reaching the tire? Ooh, an inch. The jet doctors are pushing ahead with their paddles. Check it. We have propulsion system. Right. <laughs> yeah. And the Amigos are close to finishing their propulsion system. We mount this on top. They've finally got their axle to fit, so now they're mounting the drive shaft. But there's still a lot to do before they can position the propeller on the end. Mount it here, mount it no. here. You all right with that? Listen up, teams. Yo, yo, yo. This is DJ DJ Ty in the house on Junkyard Radio announcing that you have just entered the rush hour. One hour remaining. That's it. One hour. Ooh, one hour. The race is on, and there's one last rush to the junkyard to gather extra parts. The doctors need material for a seat that'll take two crew members. The Amigos must Ooh, extend their exhaust pipes above the waterline. I wasn't welding all day. The machines are turning into amphibious craft, but how about rescuing a distressed dummy swimmer? OK, so here, here I am. Ooh, I can't swim. Woo, I can't <laughs> swim. Save me, Jeff. How's it going to work? <laughs> they can just reach over and uh, okay. grab the victim and pull Slide them on, on any way you can. Right. And head back to the beach. Right, here I am. Get him, Junior, right. by the hair. Him. Him. <laughs> OK. Get grab my right. I got him. Careful. I got okay, him. OK, we're oh, oh, back. OK, that's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on. He can do better than that. You're well, not just going to pick me up. You're gonna, you got to put me in here. You're only 60 pounds. You're only a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Auto Amigos, how's it going? Stupidly confident, the jet doctors are wasting valuable time checking out the competition. Not yet. Not yet. Almost there? Oh, wow. wow, look at this drive shaft assembly. That's something you don't see every day. It's all coming together. I cannot believe it. <laughs> After all the work they've gone through, it's actually coming together for both teams. It looks like it. Tell me how both of these machines are going to run 
come tomorrow. Let's start with the jet doctors. As they get into the water, they're, those front pontoons of theirs, if they don't get the little nose cones on there, are going are gonna to dig in a little bit. And if their paddles are situated such that they're not too low or too high, they'll do fine. Are the jet doctors moving through the water easily? They're moving through the water. All right, fair enough, I understand. What about the auto amigos? They're prop sticks way out the back. Yeah. If there's a steep berm or a steep drop off, they could be in trouble before they ever hit the water. If you're drowning in the ocean, do you want the jet doctors to come and save you or the auto amigos? What a choice. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll, I'll opt for my original, original folk uh, and, and, and guess, jet doctors. The Amigos have raided the doctor's bay for spare barrels. They hope they'll give their beetle extra buoyancy. And they still have to seal their engine. You see, we got to cut some more. Get the dogs off. The jet doctors are racing to get their ATV seaworthy. It's just a simple matter of fixing the steering, mounting a rudder, extending their exhaust pipe, and waterproofing everything. We're just gonna what? Cut up? Cut the? Uh, let's cut the edge off. Ten minutes. This is your ten-minute time call, teams. Put the pedal to the metal. You like our cones? Now hold on. Line it up. Boy, this is a crazy looking bug here. Are they seaworthy, though? I can't <laughs> wait to see them in the water. I don't care, they're done. <laughs> they're done. They look good, what do you think? <laughs> I think these guys have done a yeoman's job over here, and these guys actually got done, like they're putting an American flag on the end of the oh. thing. We're out of time. All right, teams, that's it. Put your tools down. Woo! I said put your tools down now. <laughs> Just in time, that's it. Thank you very much, what a great day. Give yourselves a round of applause. All right. Good job, guys. Good job, team. So, will the Auto Amigos Leaky Beetle's drive wheels stay in contact with their extra axle wheels and keep their propeller turning? And will the Jet Doctor's two feeble paddle wheels dig into the sand and bog them down before their oil-barreled ATV even gets to the water? Find out who swims through to the final after the break. We have fought this war. Tonight, I believe we can end it. Touch me, and that hand will never touch anything again. He's found a way to copy himself. Me, me, me. Me too. How are you, fellas? They need you. I need you. The Matrix Reloaded. You can't beat us. Join us. Rated R. Starts Thursday, May 15th. Nothing has changed. Everything has changed. The all new 265 horsepower Nissan Maxima. Jan Collins has lost perspective. All she sees is her 11 o'clock appointment and nothing else. Sounds crazy, but if Jen had a camera phone from T-Mobile, she'd start to see things because, well, she could share them. Only in New York. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. T-Mobile camera phones. Get more. Right now, the only thing standing between a supervisor and his weekend is somebody loading this pallet on a five-ton truck to Tuscaloosa. Nearby, a fast, dependable forklift operator needs a good job. That's where we come in. Employers, call 888-MONSTER. Post your job and find the right person for it. Because now, blue collar, white collar, no collar, Monster works for everybody. Ow! Ever wanted to be a junkyard warrior? Well, now's your chance. Competition is breaking out of the junkyard and coming to a city near you to give you a chance to get into the action. Build your own junkyard machine. 
and compete head-to-head -head for prizes on the Gravity Crash Course. Go to TLC.com for tour locations and more. TLC's Junkyard Wars on the Road, coming soon to a city near you, brought to you by Radio Shack. Own a timeshare. Attention all smokers. Now you can kick the habit in just seven days. That's right. You can quit smoking easily in only seven days guaranteed. Introducing the all-natural Smoke Away System, the herbal stop smoking program that works to help completely stamp out your nicotine cravings in just one week. Fed up with expensive patches, prescriptions, and gums that often don't work? For less than the price of all of them, you can stop smoking in seven days, 100% guaranteed, or your money back. It's safe. It's highly effective. I've had tremendous success with my patients using the Smoke Away program. I like the fact that Smoke Away is all natural, and it really works. I did Smoke Away for three days, and I've been smoke-free ever since. The secret is the unique combination of all natural herbal ingredients that work to completely and naturally eliminate your body's craving for nicotine. Why spend hundreds of dollars on patches and gums that just put more nicotine in your system? For less than the price of any of them, you will stop smoking in seven days, guaranteed, or your money back. Pick up the phone and order your Smoke Away system now. Smoke Away makes a great gift. Welcome back to Junkyard Wars, where our two teams of semifinalists have spent the last 10 hours building their beach rescue racers. Now it's time to test them out. We've come to Castaic Lake here in California. Here's the deal. The teams must drive down the beach, cross 100 yards of water, rescue their dummies, and get them back to shore. Then they must run the dummy up to the lifeguard tower. There's just enough time for some last minute tinkering. The jet doctors are making their machine yeah. watertight, sealing up every last crack, they hope. And the auto amigos are mounting flotation barrels to keep them from sinking. Let me get the... Put some silicone on there. Hola, amigos. Hola. Hola. What happens if you get water in around the engine, anything like that? Because, uh, you know, the water, uh, an engine needs to breathe. Now we got air intake there, and the other pipes, of course, are exhaust. Now we waterproofed the spark plug wires with silicone, so the engine will tolerate getting wet to some point, but that we're going to find out. And but if we need a, a little bit more flotation, we got our shorty here. Oh! We got shorty here. Shorty floats. <laughs> shorty, yeah, floats. shorty floats. Shorty floats. Yeah. Shorty floats, so no problem. If something were to go wrong, what do you think it would be? I think the only thing that might go wrong is the engine might stop running, and in which case we have our, our plan B, of course, the uh, paddles. No, you do not. Yes, we That's do. That's very good thinking. Being an aircraft uh, mechanic group, we have a plan B, a backup. You know, if our engine stops, we'll deploy the paddles and we'll <laughs> paddle it in. Nice. What kind of things can go wrong for both of these teams? Let's start with the jet doctors. Jet doctors are going to have a problem if they can't get their buoyancy right. They're also going to have a bit of a challenge getting their victim on their why is vessel. That? It's not very big. There's not a lot of maneuverability around room in the back of their vessel. They're going to have to reach over give some stability themselves so they don't go swimming, grab the victim, up onto the boat, maneuver around and come back. Mm -hmm. What are some of the dangers for the auto amigos that we have to watch out for? Um, wait, uh, I don't think they've purposely built a submarine, but uh, <laughs> was, I, I think there's just gonna be basic flotation and traction on their back wheels, uh, both in and out of the water, right. and just basic propulsion. Which one <laughs> is gonna work best overall? Is it gonna be the jet doctors or the auto amigos? Uh, I, I'm still going to have to put my money uh, where it was yesterday on, uh, on the Jet Doctors. Slow and simple, easy, still the Jet Doctors. Uh. We are minutes away from the first race. Ready, shall I leave them off? The teams will start here at the lifeguard tower. When they get the emergency signal, they'll race down the beach and out onto the water to the distressed swimmers. They'll pull the swimmers aboard, then battle back to shore. The team that makes the rescue in the single fastest time will win. All right, looks like the teams are ready. Let's do it. That's it. OK. Tyler to Karen, let's go with run number one. You can get the teams to start their engines. Copy that, Tyler. It's the medal. Are you ready? Set. Go. Yeah. Woo! The Jet Doctors are quick off the mark. Push it. The Amigos are trying to jumpstart their Beetle. Push it, push it, Nancy. Go! Push it, go! 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 Still no sound from the Amigos engine. Go! 
Oh, man. It's all freak. I think the machine is actually afraid of water. Oh. What went no. wrong? I told you to put a V8 in this car, man. You messed up again. What really happened in there? What were the mechanics? Hey! And everything got overheated. The engine just shut right off. Rock solid, cannot turn. The Auto Amigos look like they're out of the race, but the Jet Doctors are having no problems with their engine. Those cones are really helping them plow through the water. The Jet Doctors racing towards us at laser-like speed. You guys are making a heck of a time right now, though. <laughs> Nice approach. A little bit head on, though, don't you think? Yeah, they're, they're coming straight in, but he's, he's getting his turn down. Hey, bring that dummy back, too! Hey! They've got their hands on their swimmer, but if they're not careful, they're going to capsize. Bring both of them back! They've got to coordinate holding the dummy and steering. Come on, Jet Doctors, go! Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. They're pushing that little engine as hard as it'll go. You really have CPR right there. Yeah, exactly. Come on, I put another engine in there. So you're going to stop me. I want to hit this water 40 miles an hour at least <laughs> once with this thing. Oh, no. They're stuck on a sandbank. It's costing them valuable time. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Get the dummies out. Come on, come on, come on. Bring him, bring him. Go, 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 the run was made in eight minutes, 55 seconds. Yeah, yeah all right, guys. All right. All right. Good job, dude. How about us? Good job. Good job. Good job. Very nice. Good all job, right. guys. OK, I'm right behind. The pressure is on for the Auto Amigos to get their engine running. Every link from spark plugs to fan belt has to be checked. So we got any kind of a second run coming up here? The Auto Amigos can't seem to get their engine going, and the Jet Doctors are, are fine. Um, oh, the Auto Amigos are still working on their engine furiously back there. So what we've decided to do is uh, let the Jet Doctors take another run at it right. um, on their own, just to see if they can better their own time. And hopefully on the, on the third time around, the Auto Amigos will be ready to rock and roll. Expert Dave is in the driving seat with teammate Tama as rudder operator. They're all set to try to beat their first time. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler to Karen, you have control. Copy that, Tyler. Jet Doctors, are you ready for your second rescue run? Yeah! yeah. Here we go. All right, Woo. start your engine. Tough start, here they come. They hit the water just to fly it. Deploy the rudder! You can actually see those yeah. little paddles yeah. at the back. They're it's, actually doing they're, something. They're working. It sounds like a really stressed out engine. Oh honest, no, that's exactly know? what it should sound like. Long, Look at it churning up that water. It's perfect. All right. Turn the other way, Taba! Other way! The other way! Other way! Oh boy. Karen and Tyler. From our end, it's pretty exciting to watch Tama learn for the first time about navigating with a rudder. <laughs> is it tricky making that turn to pick up the body? It is a bit tricky. There's a little bit of a current pushing the craft off, so you do have to steer into the current. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good looking machine. Let's go, Jet Doctors! A little bit of wind pushing them off to the side. They're... Oh, they passed him. They can't seem to stop the engine now. Reverse! <laughs> I think Dave's trying to reverse to stop the craft. This is obviously going to cost the Jet Doctors time, though. Talking about time, it's in short supply for the Amigos. Their engine is far more powerful than the Jet Doctors, but they still can't get it started. Still need more water. Second attempt for the Jet Doctors. Okay. Kill the engine. Get Reach him. out. Get him with the flag. Scoop him up. Something. <laughs> OK, Tama is reaching. He's reaching. That's a far reach. That's a big reach for Tama. Hope he doesn't capsize. Hurry, Tama. He's drowning. It's not a rodeo, Tama. Let's go, buddy. 
Got him. All right, Tama. Up. Yeah. Up. Get him. Ooh, that's going to hurt his neck. He's going to need a chiropractor <laughs> after this. Oh, oh Tama. Oh, dropped dropped him. Him. Hey, we got him. All right, Tama. The dummy's Ooh. up. The yeah. dummy's up. Get him. Surely all that maneuvering must have cost them a lot of time. There's a spark of hope for the Amigos. They finally got a noise out of their engine. The jet doctors are focused on the lifeguard tower. Let's go! Good job for the jet doctors. Run number two, remember the time to beat was 8.55? Feel good about it, feel good even though Dave, we Dave, Tama, run number two made uh, in a stunning. stunning. Stunning, stunning. That's better than eight. Eight First. minutes, 27 yeah! seconds. Yeah! <laughs> nice job. The Jet Doctors are in the lead. The Auto Amigos haven't been able to do one successful run, but they still have a chance to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Stick around and find out if they can. Now pull yourself together and get back in there. This TLC program is sponsored in part by Radio Shack. You've got questions, we've got answers. Okay, sweetie, bye-bye. Can you check on my flight, please? Sure. Call team. Hey, Vanessa, have you finished my brother's birthday card yet? Have now. Now at Radio Shack, find great deals on unique gifts for mom, like this easy-to-use Palms IR PDA, just $99.99. Or tell her how much you love her with this talking picture frame, just $9.99. How do you always have the answers to everybody's questions? Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. Wait, wait, wait. I think I forgot the camera. No, you packed it. Can I check? I don't want to stop. I'm in the zone now. You're in the what? Okay. Ryan, can you just check? Fine, fine. You're the best. Yeah, I know. Automobile magazine calls Ford Focus the best small car to drive. Oh. Someone already knows. You're good. And now every Focus comes with 100,000 mile powertrain coverage. You know what I think? We forgot nice this. Try. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again. So, this is Adamville. Yep. A weekend retreat from the rigors of our Dell internship. Mom, I'm home! Hello? Hey, Mr. Intern. Where is everyone? Shopping. Dad wants a printer, and Mom says something about a digital <sighs> camera. But I work at Dell. Dell only has PCs. No, Mallory. Dell helps people get it all, from software to digital cameras. Dell's own handhelds and printers. Well, we have shoppers to stop. What? Darren, we ride. Click or call Dell for all your favorite PC gear. And introducing the new Dell printers with the same quality and service you'd expect from Dell. Dell's all-in-one is just $109 after a $30 mail-in rebate. It's the perfect printer for your perfect PC. Like this Dimension desktop for just $4.99. And right now, you'll get a free CD burner. You sure have a lot of teddy bears. This isn't my room, it's Adam's. Yeah, they're mine. Your perfect PC and more. Easy as Dell. This is a test. This is the big test. Right now at participating Honda dealers, you can join the big test ride. The world's biggest production motorcycles. Goldwing 1800, VTX 1800. And it just keeps getting bigger because you can ride off with low 6.9% APR financing. To find out more, just go to Honda.com and join the biggest test ride in motorcycle history. In 1989, Eric and Lyle Menendez committed a crime that shocked the nation. Now, TRC recreates every angle of the investigation that nearly destroyed its lead detective. My whole life had changed because of this case. Overheard confessions. Lyle and I killed my mom and dad. Threats. You gotta pull yourself together. We're both going to San Quentin. And two brothers brought to justice. Super Sleuths, the Menendez brothers. Tonight at 8, only on TLC. It's a game of subtlety and grace. Okay, tiger. Yeah, right. No more Mr. Nice Guy. It's time to hit the links, junkyard style, off-road, and fully automatic. More power! Yeah! The Yard's top two teams take a swing at the coveted trophy, but our champions keep getting stuck in the rough. Hold on, it's in park. See who sinks the winning putt and who putters out. 
Junkyard Wars, Wednesday at 9, only on TLC. Welcome back to Junkyard Wars. With two rescue runs down, the Jet Doctors are currently in the lead with the fastest time. The Auto Amigos have one chance left to save themselves and sail through to the finals. With Tama at the rudder, the Jet Doctors clocked the quickest rescue of eight minutes and 27 seconds. The Auto Amigos have yet to enter the water, but now that they've got their engine running, they're determined to beat the Jet Doctors. There's only one race left, and there's everything to play for. At stake is a place in the Junkyard Wars Finals. All right, looks like they're both ready to go. Tyler to Karen, you have control. Start them anytime you want. Are you ready for your third run? Yeah, yeah! Get go. set, go! Go, everybody, go! go they're neck and neck so what are you seeing right now i see both of them are at about the same spot except the uh auto amigos are going a little a little awry yeah oh uh, these actually paddling a little bit the amigos are falling behind the axle drive system is working but what about the rest of their machine what can you see tyler yeah even from here karen it looks like uh the sinking of the titanic it looks like their steering is not holding up all that well either. No, so no, they're all over the place. Uh, Auto Amigos appear to be taken on water. The engine is silent. All they've got left is human power. Yeah, that's what oh, we're saying down here. Where you, maybe they they're... Yeah, the motor died. Motor died, but Shorty, God bless him, has got one strong <laughs> arm. <laughs> go, 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 so and unfortunately, the wind is going to uh, probably do a better job of pushing the Auto Amigos than their engine. So right now, there's really nothing Billy can do. That's that's called dead in the water. The Jet Doctors are racing ahead, and the Amigos are floundering. Well, it looks like uh, the Jet Doctors are about at the dummy. They're getting there. They're almost there. They are getting there. They're almost there. The Doctors are flaunting their superior machine. The Amigos can only watch. Another expert rescue. They've started the engine again. Woo! Okay. Woo! But it's stalled. Tyler to Karen, the paddles have come out for the Jet Doctors. They are using the backup plan, plan B. It appears to be working. It looks like um, the uh, Auto Amigos could use a couple of those paddles themselves. I hate to say it, but the uh, the Jet Doctors are actually making a little bit better headway with the pedals than they are with their engine. Billy, what's wrong with the engine? It washed out, flooded. The troubles for the Auto Amigos are just too numerous to count at this point. Dead in the water, no propulsion whatsoever. I think we should probably tell them that they're a little out of luck. <laughs> Karen, it looks like it's curtains for the Amigos. They've got some problems with their engine, and they just can't deal with it out on the water. We hear you. That's it. All right, thanks, Tyler. We lost. It's a victory run for Captain Kirk. The Jet Doctors go through to the finals. Yeah! Auto Amigos, you guys did a great job today. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Job. Congratulations, job well done. Yeah. yeah! Thank you! The Jet Doctors do get to go through to the Junkyard Wars yeah. Finals! Thank you. I'd also like to say congratulations to Tim Jablonski, the winner of the Win a Day on Junkyard Wars competition. <laughs> Good to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Nice. Pop them, baby. Yeah. 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 We'll see you next time. On Junkyard